that. Let me check real quick. No, he was about to finish with Vlad, but then the game ended. So I don't know if he wanted Ten to go Overlord or not, but it's an option. But Vlad also gives bonus damage still, right? Right. Does it actually, or am I lying? I'm, I'm going to check it out. I think it does. Yeah, 18% also on top of that. So you get 18% from that, and then 30% from the wolf, and 32 from your aura. And then if you find a Titan still, another 20%, that exceeds 100%. So you literally hit for like 900 damage with no items. Just purely your base stats. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. That's all I got. And on top of that, you also have 24 passive armor. Cause why not? You got one of the best stunts in the game. Cause why not? Yeah, Tiny definitely feels really strong. I wouldn't be surprised to see him definitely become a uh, massive pick here in this uh, match. Yeah, so Extreme is going for the Spirit Breaker first this time. Weaver is still in the pool. Let's see if Ehom wants to run that again. Or maybe they're a little bit discouraged against the Spirit Breaker. Usually, eating into your bonus time with the first pick is a little, you know, a sign of no confidence or perhaps being a little bit lost. Radiant hmm. team pick. Queen. Oh. We go to the Queen of Pain early. <laughs> We've seen the Queen of Pain with Dust, of course. It was a first phase ban in the last game. But this time they go to the TA. Seconds remaining. Leaving that Queen of Pain available, but... We've seen Paparazzi go to the Spirit Heroes quite a bit. And just come over and, you know, grab that lockdown. Get the follow up kills that they need or follow up lockdown to get the kills that they need. Say with tank back on the tusk or something like that. Tree protector, annoying in lane, hits hard. The nature's grasp always a, a bit of an issue. Do you like it here up against potentially the spirit breaker? Seconds remaining. Yeah, that's a good support against it. I did choose to line against that. Because this is one of the few heroes that actually out damages the spirit breaker. And they're going back into the death prophet. We have seen Somnus. No, not Summer, sorry. We've seen Paparazzi just yesterday on a DP. I think he went like, what, 18 0 or something crazy like that? And it was also against the Queen, I believe. Radiant team ban. Dire team ban. Radiant mm. team ban. Yeah, we've seen Death Prophet mid and offlane in this event, and it has felt strong. I do and wonder, also though. Buffed. Yeah. Will it go. Will it go in. With the tusk, Dire team I got, uh, lots this prophet shard got buffed, it, it wasn't like that crazy, yeah. But that buff is pretty significant, I guess. It's if, if you always go get... to the shard, and fear is a very strong mechanic, don't forget. Ten seconds remaining, but even spirit breaker, death prophet, off the endure, Five could be remaining. very strong as well. It's very flexible for them still. Quop, I, I, it's still flexible, that, but it doesn't really feel as flexible anymore because it's most of the time just locked into the mid lane. Uh, but yeah, DP a little bit of an interesting pick against Quop because usually you want to counter a DP with a Quop. With high burst damage, the lane itself is pretty difficult for the DP. Radiant team ban. And they're just banning out Shiro again. Just say I did in game one. Yeah, forced him out of the Weaver, but that wasn't like that. Uh, I don't know. That that pick is not too out of the meta or anything like that. Yeah. I also like to ban Pango because it's his best hero, and I still believe that hero is absolutely busted. And it got buffed even more. <laughs> So, what is uh, left for a zeal? I'm still looking for like a standout hero, you know, other than Pango. Like his Pango is top notch, but if you take that away from him, 
It doesn't feel as scary anymore. Radiant team pick. I mean, Sorry. the Nature's Prophet wasn't terrible, right? Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's just like the hero itself is just not that good. So going to the Dark Willow. They could potentially go into the Mars this time. Dark Willow Mars, one of the better combos. Go with crop as well. Remaining. Dire team pick. Radi Wraith, Wraith King. King. Okay. Yeah. Easy Wraith King. Stable safe laner and Abaddon is a good five. Yeah, a battle against Willow is really good. Honestly, even against Quop and Treant as well, because you can just dispel everything with the shield. The Cursed Crown is really annoying. Just shield it off. You can always share the damage of the Bedlam as well with that borrow time. And just overall, the, the, this lineup is just super tanky, right? Rave King, DP, Abaddon, Spirit Breaker. Like they need some tank breakers here on Ehome. They need some damage. I think Wraith I King, we're going to see a Deso upgrade, too. Yeah. What does Shiro play? I think PA looks pretty decent. Dyer if they want to pick a zero now. Tide Hunter. Nope. They keep it for last. So they're going through the heavy team fight with the Tide. Okay. Although picking it into DP is pretty brave. Yeah, you never really want to fight into the exorcism and... Jumping in, maybe getting silenced. Yeah, it's a tough matchup for Tidehunter. They just really wanted to have that additional team fight. Uh, well, they have last pick, so Extreme has to show everything first. Is it going to be an offline spirit break or support? Mm. Is there a good support here? They could pick us the real question. Hmm. 10 seconds remaining. Um, Is there a good support for extreme? Seconds remaining. Yeah. I personally like Doom quite a bit, but Spirit Breaker as a support always feels a little lackluster. I wouldn't mind it. I also wouldn't even mind the Abaddon 3. I love Abaddon in the 3 position. Yeah, Abaddon 3 could work, and I could just pick a 5, like Undying or something like that. Hear me out. Five Magnus. No. Nine. Why not? It's because you don't have PA. You have Wraith King. Yeah, it's not the same. So? So I don't pick it. That's whack. Why not? You don't. Yeah, you just said because you don't have PA. I want more than that. No, because like that's not you how need... I sound. <laughs> that's not how I sound. Come on. <laughs> I wasn't trying to imitate you. I could never do that. Your voice is too heavenly for me. <laughs> now five Mac is just so like slow. You know, you already have a pretty good draft. You don't need to. But then you still have a spirit breaker support though. We should just say we don't want. Radiant team ban. Huh? Ban the troll. Ban the troll. We go tiny. How about time. Underlord? Ten seconds remaining. Like go all in onto the tank. Five seconds remaining. I don't like Underlord's new change. Yeah, I hate the Fiend's Gate. It's so bad. It could be really good. We just haven't really seen it used yet. I disagree. I think it just seems really bad. Ah, I just a hater. Damn hater. Dire team pick. I am a little bit of a hater, but like... It feels dumb. Like the point of the hero was the Dark Rift. 
Yeah, but now you're uh, you're gonna open your mind, become now you're a different hero. Remaining. Now Fiend's now you're... grip or Fiend's gate is like, oh, I can get here, remaining. but so can my allies or so much can my enemies. Pick. But they get rooted. Ooh, they do that. we were talking about this. The oh, Necro. Oh, Necro. We were talking about this before we started going live. Yeah, that's a very green lineup. Green bluish. Yeah. Yeah. And what's your response to the Necro? Anti mage looks actually super good here. Five seconds remaining. So you start having to deal with the Necrophos permanent region. Drow Ranger. Oh my God, Drow Ranger! I knew it. But you didn't say it this time. Because I've been burned too many times, and I'm not going to predict anymore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you would have been right this time, though. Yeah, but I'm bad at my job. <laughs> I would have said I mean, something like so dumb. I would have been like, yeah, PA sounds great. Let's just do the PA. I, PA would have been decent. You have, uh, I mean, Drow, her her shot is really game-breaking here, right? The minus 70% heal. Very strong against those heroes. But at the same time, it's very easy for them to get on top of her as well. They don't have the best protection. Ten seconds Necro. remaining. Now I wanna see him snowball with all his HP region. Five hmm. seconds remaining. Paparazzi on the Death Prophet. I'm hyped about that. Yeah, we'll see if we can have a repeat performance of yesterday. Which is gonna be very difficult. Like it's hard to beat or even be at 18 0. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah. You imagine if Old Eleven is the one who ends up going 18 0 and has a bunch of just Reaper Scythe kills? Uh, 90 perma region. Yeah. Uh, that. What do you do about that? When you've got permanent region like that. Well, you still have Draw Ranger, luckily, who can mitigate it quite a bit. But yeah, like the, the draft of E-Home is, is good mm -hmm. if they can get away with it. It's a little bit greedy. Like The lanes won't be easy. And it's easy Q on the Dark Willow again. So it's Draw Dark Willow against Necro... Spirit Break. I'm not a fan of Spirit Break before. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Extreme Gaming is going to win. Yeah, I think so too. I'm a little... I don't like Zeal in this greedy lineup on Tide. I, I well, We've been talking about how he gets sacked a lot in his lane. And he didn't in the last game, but it definitely feels like it could happen again. Like, he just gets sacked and he doesn't really have many items with a greedy lineup like this. And it just is... He's there for a Ravage, which doesn't feel... That great when you want him maybe to get a couple more things, but we'll yeah. have to see. I mean, Tide could potentially also just become like a feed ball, right? Into the DP, into the Rave King, even Necro as well. Yeah, wonder what they'll do. Wonder how the Necro will fare and now getting picked up. And uh, we'll go into game number two here of E Home and Extreme Gaming. It's all coming together. The idea now with the Necro getting the HP and mana regen is to use that Reaper Scythe off cooldown, right? And try to get these quick kills. Oh, you always want to damage do with anyway. it. Yeah, but uh, you sometimes just don't have the opportunity. Are you going to have it here with this lineup? Like, the burst damage uh, isn't exactly great. What do you build to secure the Reaper Scythe kills? Yeah, you don't have a lot of uh, easy ways to kill heroes, unfortunately. I still got to say, though, I prefer the respawn timer. Like, it just gave you so much time to do things, especially early on. Seconds to battle. Yeah, I guess it no longer increases the enemy's death timer. It was such a, like, unfair mechanic, though, you know, the, the respawn I, timer increase. Yeah, I guess if it doesn't do that anymore, the cooldown should have been decreased. Yeah, two minutes seems kind of long. That seems like it would have balanced a little bit, right? Rambo Maze is down. Old Eleven taking some damage, being slowed up. DY here to show his face. <laughs> He's got uh DY's got Trail of the Burning Doom on that emissary blade. That's awesome. That thing's really cool. So now he's on fire. As oh, yeah, the bottom. Up again. They want to get the first part here. If all the left dies, 
lane is going to get really tough. ZZQ. Spotted for a second, but they just don't have the follow up to it. I don't think 1v1 Lu is going to do too bad against Zeal. It's a try v try. And Old 11, yeah, definitely needs to try and just survive to start this off. Nature's Grass, Bramble Maze, Old 11 in some trouble. It's the Aphotic Shield. Tank just standing there and Shiro gets first blood. There's nothing that the Spirit Breaker could do to help. He took a level one in the uh, Greater Bash. But now Abaddon going to TP to the top lane to help out Lou. Hmm. Yeah, but they have to be careful with the Necro. Like... Okay, three NTPs out. Like Necro, you have to make absolutely sure that he gets a good early laning phase. It's because he's very aligned on just snowballing the lane. Hmm. If you're Necro, what do you want to build first? I uh, usually it's like put into either Mech or Lotus Orb. Depending on what you think you need. Lotus this game is probably going to be pretty important. I, I worry about, uh, again, them just not having the burst damage. Do you think he goes for something a little bit more offensive? Yeah, but the damage can come from uh, DP Exorcism later on, right? I think right. the job is just to make sure that DP and Wraith King are as survivable as possible. Maybe bait them into some bad fights. Or bait Eom into bad fights, not just him in. Top lane, Lou. Well, Planet is actually going into the early living armor, so he doesn't really want to be aggressive at all. Early level living armor giving uh, the extra three armor right now, but 12 at level four, always nice. The duration of 30 seconds at level four. They're taking a lot of damage down here. Charge comes out, Shiro getting low, but Old 11, he's under the tower, he needs to be a little bit careful. The damage out from Shiro puts him to about half health, and they do get that salve out on this drow. Yeah, free HP region is always very nice. Necro is a great hero. <laughs> and Zeus is really bullying Lou quite a bit. Also, I can't believe Helm of Iron will even get touched. Yeah. Not not at all. And <laughs> it still gives so much. A six yeah, armor fact, the five HP the region right is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, Lou's going to get one, and that should make his lane a little bit easier. A little bit. Old Eleven just <laughs> thinking about diving the tower once again. No, there's no reason to not think that, especially if we can get some of those last hits and get into the Heartstopper regen and get that extra regen going. Here's the pink bottom. They're going on all the eleven. He's dead. Yeah, he is gonna try oh, and take out oh. the damage. Oh, wow. just surviving gets back to base. Just yeah. One right click from a support and the drow would have been enough. Paparazzi at the moment, even with seven E. And we'll see how quickly they can use the exorcism to pressure these towers once they do, in fact, hit that level six. Yeah, or well, maybe even a quap wave to get some early ganks going as well. So, Old Eleven finally joining back up. He's still just sitting here level three. Charge comes out through to the Dark Willow. Goes into the Shadow Realm, never throws the strike out. So, Old Eleven, when there is a tri lane here, he does get himself in a little bit of trouble. trouble, but these arrows slowing him down. Early Frost arrows doing quite a bit of damage, and Old Eleven 
I need to get a couple of stacks on that Heartstopper Aura so he can find himself uh, regening just a little bit because he's getting harassed in this lane and it is not feeling all too great. Yeah, he's back to full health again. Can maybe even go into the Ghost Shroud at level 4 if he wants to. See if he's greedy or not. Charge coming through to mid. What about going in on the 7e? Charge hits, blink over, and 7e bottles the haste rune. It's the living armor, which is still just at level 1, so the extra 3 armor, the duration only 15 seconds. Say only, but that's still a decent amount of time to have that kind of armor. Yeah, and Lou's actually not doing too well up there. All by himself. Emma Maze again, again, old 11 getting caught, the frost arrow's still hurting, and he's got the extra jump in the regen thanks to the Heartstopper aura, but uh, it's just sustaining him. It's not like old 11 is having this amazing time over bottom, but 31 and 8 overall. Yeah, he does always have the option to go into the Ghost Shroud though, so... The chances of him kill, uh, dying is actually pretty low down there. Unless like, a tree and rotates again. Charging on his ZZQ, they've also got DY. And Old Eleven will move forward for a second. The Bramble Maze is down. They show three heroes, don't get anything out of it. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So for right now, still, still just one nothing. Yeah, he's doing all right. He's about to have himself the armlet. Yeah, no problem, apparently. And then Paparazzi, he's level six. He's moving in on a seven with 70 ahead of him and by about a full level. Charge comes out and now they've got the bash to follow it up. Unfortunately, Paparazzi, no points into the silence. And Lou now getting pressured by two heroes up in the top lane. He'll TP over DY. Yep, he's keeping a skill point right now for reincarnation if need be. Um, this is gonna come out in just one more creep. Oh, he missed it actually. Tough under the tower. Oh, he's gonna miss that one too. Ooh. Oh, oh. and the courier goes I down. Lost courier. <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh -oh. gosh! Well, now that arm weight is uh, a trip away. Gotta be oh, careful. Gosh. Move. This is the kind of stuff that gets you kicked from teams. <laughs> and making a rotation bottom now. Uh, they have an op spot there, though, so they see it straight away. Yeah, they sure really want to force this six. Uh, Reaper Scythe. They could just go for his Q if they really wanted to. And that's exactly what they're going to do as they throw out the cube and now they've got a gust and the sonic wave old 11 can't even get the reaper scythe out they've brought over paparazzi the shadow strike is there the ravage comes in from zeal they've turned this around successfully exorcism now a waste they'll find themselves lou he is on the run and so is tank with that charge away he home with the counterplay and it works out perfectly for them Right, who is the big winner here, huh? It's a DY. Free family safe friends in a battle. What better feeling is there? <laughs> Does feel right. Does feel good. Well, his team is probably not that happy about it, but you know, can't make everybody happy all the time. And he's finally going to get his armlet. Very delayed. He should have had it for a while at least. They need six on their supports. They're about to have it on Abaddon, but Hank's gonna need to buy that tome. Is it a bad one or a bottom? Uh I say Abaddon, but I'm pretty sure he says a bad one. I say Abaddon too. He goes like or something. Oh, now it's uh, Zeal against Lou again. Is this time Amla's there? Yeah. 
The thing though still is they didn't get the Reaper Scythe over bottom that they really wanted to force. And Old Eleven hasn't used it yet, so you're losing that min-maxing time of getting that extra regen if you can get yourself at least a kill on the Reaper Scythe. Yeah, it's pretty bad to not be able to use it at all. Charge coming out on a zeal. They've got paparazzi coming over. Old Eleven's just chilling over mid while this is all going on. The right click comes out from Lou to get the kill on a zeal. They're going to TP over plenty of heroes. They look over planet. The Sonic Wave comes through. There's the reincarnation pop. Paparazzi again in some trouble. The Terrorize comes out. The Charger at least tried to. Goes into the Nether Strike. That lands on a planet. The Curse Crown pops on Lou. They're still trying to get these kills. Planet with a sliver of health. But now they've got the Bedlam on Tank. Tank already used the Nether Strike. Miss Coil, a Phonic Shield. They've got the Exorcism going. They've rooted up this Death Prophet and they don't get the kill out onto the Queen of Pain, but they end up losing ZZQ. Right by the Tier 1 Tower that should be able to take this. While oh, that's all happening, Old Eleven is farming up against Shiro in the top lane. And I say they should be able to take this, but DY takes some damage from the Nature's Grasp. They're over into the side and Zeus coming over with a Ravage, looking to deny the tower, but doesn't get it. That's DY working with 30 health. They do ultimately get the tower. They get a couple of kills. They lose the reincarnation on Lu. Should be on cooldown for another two minutes. Yeah, but uh if he doesn't die anytime soon, there's sort of, you know, consequence to that. Still no Reaper kill though. It's uh, the biggest sadness in this game, really. He's going uh, Kaiosan. Okay. That's what I build usually. But I always get flame for it in high MMR games. Yeah, it's usually me in those games who's flaming you. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. I can see that happen. They're going top with a three-man smoke. You, I smoked himself. He's going to try and put down some vision here. They've already got vision, though. And I wonder if the smoke maybe is to try and get... Eh, can't really try and get old 11, potentially. If he doesn't smell it. He doesn't smell it. And they jump in on old 11. Sonic Wave, and they've got the Curse Crown. Uh, charge comes out, but they won't be able to save him. And now they're going to get themselves a plus one on tank. Ooh, neutrals? Neutrals? No. Didn't do anything. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm uh, dealing with competing against the hustle and bustle of a, a New York City street. As I'm trying to Dyer's top tower. not have uh, all the sirens and sounds come into the mic. Are you doing something illegal, B-Cop? Uh, casting poorly, yes. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> uh, Zeal getting charged. He's almost got that blink dagger. They haven't exactly sacked the lane or sacked his game the way I thought they might. Oh, time to the strike coming through, looking for the Terrorize and charging it up but never getting it off. They go to the Exorcism, the right click comes in from Shiro. Now the Ravage is out. And they should be able to get the kill on a tank, but oh, just walks away. They end up getting DY instead, and Old Eleven kind of finds himself in no man's land. He can't walk up to the high ground, they'll blink forward on 7e. Throwing this Shadow Strike out onto this Necro. Reaper Scythe finally coming through and ripping up Zeal, but they end up losing Paparazzi for it. Old Eleven, he's got that extra regen. He's at 52 HP per second, but I don't know if that's going to matter. It's not going to last much longer, and the damage coming out. But eventually, well, now they look over at ZZQ. Aura, aura, aura. Down aura. The low ground, aura. and oh, the Heartstopper aura won't be enough to get the kill there onto the Dark Willow. Close, he does finally get himself that Reaper Scythe kill. Does get one stack. He's getting three HP regen and one mana regen on it. Yeah, not that significant just yet. Could have been like three stacks already. Tribute to my house. All these neutral cubes with their new abilities is so funky. <laughs> like when it's randomly thrown out, you're kind of like, ah, uh, what just happened?
Is it? Ah, do you go? I guess you get Kai Assange. Do you go Octarine Core? On old eleven. Rave King? On old eleven. Oh, on old eleven. Uh, Octarine Core. Yeah, I like it, but if it comes, it has to come later. I'd like the shard first. Very strong shard. Million Old Eleven shows up once again. Bramble Maze doesn't land. Charge coming out on a Shiro. Old Eleven kind of standing his ground for the moment. He does have those wand charges. DUI has the borrowed time. The charge comes out. Tank. Got the Nether Strike, but the Blink Forward Zeal blinking forward too. Looking to get the kill here onto this Spirit Breaker. They do so successfully. Very easily too. And Zeal kind of posturing himself forward. He has Ravage in 20 seconds. We've got Exorcism in 12. First crown on the old 11. Bramble Maze is down. Old 11 on the run. He's got Reaper Scythe available. The Sonic Wave misses this uh, Necrophos, but they get the kill on a DY. They're trying to line it up that maybe they could have pushed him back and continued for that kill, but ultimately they don't. Yeah, just narrowly off the mark. Uh, looking for another Reaper kill, but they don't have the best setup, to be honest. It's an oh, early kid from Planet. He's looking for the overgrowth and the control out on the old 11 who goes into the Ghost Shroud, pops the wand, trying to survive. The Curse Crown will pop. The Shadow Strike is there, and ZZQ takes out the Necro. But Nether Strike used, going after this Dark Willow, just needs a bash, and will never find it, but it's still. Ooh, wow. <laughs> All right, well, never mind. Found the bash. Found the bash, found the kill. <laughs> I'll shut up now. Yeah, Rave King finally finishes Desolator, so now it's time to farm some stacks. Dyer's top tower. Hopefully yeah. soon. Desolator gains per kill and per assist, so it, it is an item that wants to push you and force you into trying to get involved early. To get the full effect. Well, the game is pretty stagnant right now. They, they do have Ravage, no Sonic Wave. It's very hard to fight into this Tide Hunter right now. They need a BKB on DP first. He's about a thousand away from it. Necro is gonna finish his Kai Assange. He's gonna be more survivable. He some more damage as well. Yeah, that's at least what he's hoping for. Wraith King spotted. They do have the tier 1 tower to come into uh, once the reincarnation pops. If it does pop, he's trying to arm with Toggle his way to survival. They've got the Mist Coil, and now they will get that kill. Maybe we're looking to line up the Terrorize, but the Silence comes out. That's from Paparazzi. They've got the Ravage, and now they're going to look at Lou. The Sonic Wave hits. They've got the damage to get the kill here. Charge out on a ZZQ. They look over at DY. He's already used the borrowed time. Paparazzi now on the run. Charge is still going. And Old Eleven is here, but eventually the Bramble Maze is placed down. Old Eleven trying to navigate it, but the right click first one hits hard from Shiro. Now they've got the Nether Strike. Oh, Do they have the Reaper Scythe? Oh no, he's silenced. He can't get the Reaper Scythe out. And he's Curse Crown, stunned up. Never gets a Reaper Scythe away when there was certainly opportunity to find one. Still got the draw kill though. That's the big yeah, one they, they wanted. Yeah, still got Shiro. Yeah, but he's hitting hard from the back line there. Also, no Deso charges for the Rave King either. So they, they're being kept low in that like scaling regard, at least. Mm. Rave King. No Deso stacks. No Reaper Size stacks. Got Skeleton Zeal? charges, though. Reaper Scythe. Oh, there we go. And that's a level two stack, so now he's getting... Six, two? The F? Uh, but now it's nine, three in total. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Nine is a, is a lot already. I feel like that's a decent chunk. Yeah, it's not bad, especially with the region amp from the Kaya.
I mean, from Assange, sorry. And the Kaya, both. <laughs> like, it's about 800 golds worth of HP regen per Reaper Scythe. Yeah, it's a lot. Or can be a lot. Radiance top tower is under attack. DP BKB finish two and held a haste rune. The Dyer, best DP rune scanning. in the game. Probably. Hmm. So Shiro has the BKB going Dragon Lance. Meanwhile, Zeal looking to get Yules and then an axe. Ooh, they hop in a Roche, but they already had the charge. You get the kill on his EZQ. Lou gets credit for that one. The charge is out. They've got the Gust on the three. BKB's been popped by Paparazzi. Paparazzi already taking a little bit of damage, though. They've got another strike on the 7E. Nature's Grass slowing down these heroes on Extreme Gaming, chasing down Zeal. Zeal doesn't really want to pop the Ravage because there is no follow up, and for a majority of that, it was. I right, through the pit. Well, getting chased by a BKB Death Prophet. Well, this is the problem with the... Oh, they actually want to fight here or what? They're oh, thinking about the... fighting. Sonic Wave comes out. They get the kill on a planet. And now Old Eleven, he's moving. He's got the Reaper second. Oh, Shiro, you can't... He's the hero in some trouble. And now the Terrorize. And they'll get the kill. Paparazzi gets credit for that one. Old Eleven still moving forward into the Shadow Realm. Goes ZZQ. Oh, he's Reaper up. He's Reaper up. He wants to kill. He does. And they want to get this kill with the Reaper Sight. They have the Reaper Sight coming in and getting the kill. So he'll get that extra regen, and they should be able to go back and take Roche. They don't have Exorcism to work with to get this Roche, but they still have the Desolator, and now the Deso stacks are there. He's got six of them. No, the Neko 31 per my HP region now. And honestly, Ehom, I don't know why they wanted to fight there like that. Tide was dead. They had no chance to take that fight at all. And on Tide Hunter. You surely can't die again here. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. he's gonna be fine. But yeah, he almost crumbling a little bit here. Gotta be careful. Yeah. Definitely finding themselves crumbling a bit. Hmm. I man, smoke for me home. Maybe trying to force something, knowing that exorcism is down as well as the reaper scythe, but. They've got the Aegis in the hands of Lou. They come over, there's the blink. 7 e has got the shard. So that'll help try and get these kills here as they go to 11 at the same time. They get the kill though on the ZZQ. Lou comes in, old 11, he's gonna end up dying. That'll take the streak away. Shiro gets credit for that one, but uh, and that's all they get for the five man smoke and they buy back on ZZQ. Yeah, premature to buy back. Probably thought more might happen. But Shiro has to be so careful because DP with the BKB, like if he just runs at you, can't really get away from that. The only thing they have is the overgrowth to protect them. Gotta make sure they line it up perfectly. All the women will be up in 18 seconds, and when he is up, he'll have the Reaper Scythe. Karsh comes oh. out, they've got the control, they'll look for the Nether Strike, follow it up with the right clicks, the Gust comes in with the Terrorized Charge for a second. Regen picked up by Tank. Lou, all of a sudden. Oh, armor toggling, surviving. Silence out on Shiro. Old 11 back up. He'll TP into the tier 2 tower. And as Extreme Gaming hold the high ground, e home don't want to make the move forward. Armor toggling, surviving, leeching health. That was my communication when I was like 12 years old. I would just tell them everything I'm doing. And the Treant armor is really protecting the crop here. There's plus 12 armor, making the Desolator. Not nearly as effective. I have to be careful. Do unsmoke by the tower. If they find Shiro here. Uh, it's very deep. It's very deep. Oh, they're going in anyway. Yeah, they're going to want the Reaper Spike. But he doesn't get the kill and he survives a second longer. He buys However, back. They use the overgrowth. They're going to buy back here on Shiro. Shiro he has a tier 1 to TP into, but he's going to TP into the tier 2 tower and try and get the damage out. They look over his zeal. Oh, Shiro again. Oh, no. use that Ravage, and Shiro's been caught. They've got the silence. They get the kill. He's going to be dead for so long. The buyback symbol is already disappearing, knee, but well, with his respawn under it. Yeah, and so far they got nothing. One Rave King old is all they've got. It's only one minute cooldown. 
fortified. Dire structures are fortified. Ugh. So tier one no, and tier no, no, two no, no, no. all dropping. Thinking about going to the charge on the ZZQ. They don't have the Ravage. They don't have Overgrowth. No Sonic Wave. Nothing up. And one, two, three strikes. You're out of there from Old Eleven as well as the Wraith King on a ZZQ. So they get the kill there out onto the Dark Will. They look over at this Tide Hunter and they will cut the Watermelon in half. Man, like, you almost Too bleeding away heroes one by one so many times this game. And we said yesterday, or today even, that you know, against VG you got away with this. But against a team like Extreme Gaming, they will make you punish. They will make you punish? They will punish you for that. Yeah. Nice English also. It works. We knew what you were saying. They will make you punish in plays more like that they're gonna make Eom punish someone else. <laughs> uh. EKB picked up for Lou. Yeah, more damage, more survivability. Yep. Now he's got 12 stacks on the Desolator. Yep, still only 3 on the Reaper though. With kinda lackluster. It should you know, pick up the slack a bit. I guess it's kinda lackluster, but he's about to hit level 3 on it. And 15 and 5 is already good regen, but that being said... It could be 45 and 15. Uh, having 21 and 7 would have been Rave nice. Has been killed. Oh yeah, Rave King also just got the free cleave talent, of course. That, that needs to be in the game. <laughs> Alright, so, draw. It's a lot of damage. But not very survivable at all. They gotta protect them somehow. Top tower is under Here's the Lotus Orb. Radiance top tower has fallen. So Aegis expires, but they can still move forward. It's the great thing of having a built in second life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very early multi-shot. Yeah. Oh, they got Zeal. Yeah, they charged him, and Zeal, he's going to be chased here and spotted. But there's the Yules trying to escape and blink away. He's there with 7e, and they will keep you out. Indeed, they will. 12k lead now. Things are looking pretty rough for Rain. Drow needs many more items. He finally went into the shards, so that's nice, but there's Lotus Orb and BKB on the heroes it really matters against. Mm -hmm. That's not gonna be too impactful. Even Spirit Breaker and the Baton are also going for the BKB. Hmm. Tower. I think they need to initiate first with the Tide Hunter. You can't counter initiate, they have too many BKBs at this point. Yeah, it is a little bit tough for him to make uh, work with that Ravage, but if he lands a good one, maybe there's that opportunity to shut them out. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Yeah, for sure. Put down the last outer tower. Going high ground is not easy. So we're gonna take a while, maybe for the next Roshan. Hmm. Now there's the Ravage, there's the Overgrowth, the control is potentially there, and they can, like you said, wait for next Rosh. Yeah. They smoke up though on e -home. Yeah, they want to take the fight just running in Zeal. Yule's up into the air, and that was a, a Yule's, I believe, from Zeal, from Zeal, yeah, so yeah. the damage out on the DY just doesn't come. No, doesn't even pop the borrow time. Oh, Blast Rick and Krigan and Charm. Perfect item for Necro. Mr. Paparazzi. Quickening Charm for Necro, maybe? Not nah, Quickening should go to Paparazzi. Illusion. 
Ooh. They have multiple pretty cool independent heroes, so... Wouldn't be bad with either of them, but... Exorcism just feels a little bit more impactful. True. And this net worth lead is just expanding. Uh, we were just saying it was 12,000, now it's 17k. Yeah. Actually, the, the new neutral creeps, they get stronger, but they also yield more gold every time, right? So... Yeah, having map control at a certain point is actually really, really beneficial. I mean, obviously map control is really good, but now it feels like even more rewarding than before. Right. Dyer are scanning. Uh, Necro's also going to BKB now. They're building up to have five at some point. And Roche responds in 50. That's probably the last f uh, chance for E-Home. Unless they want to try to defend the high ground forever. I'm in smoke, kind of gathering the timing information on that and trying to make something happen with this. If they do win this, it, it helps, but I'm not sure it's going to be enough. DY is just moving forward to break the smoke, and that's exactly what he does. As the borrowed time, he has the survivability. Charger was coming through in his ZZQ, but he gets stopped via the Bramble Maze. They have themselves the oh, that, that, that. and they will take out 70 with no buyback. Shiro on Shiro the run with the BKB, but they are going to find themselves seal and rip right through him once again. Oh, this is the other. That fight does not go well, and they realize that they just don't have enough to make it happen and make that comeback a uh, possibility. So. Extreme Gaming will win the series 2-0. Go to the upper bracket final up against Magma, and they have put themselves in a top three situation where it looks like maybe Extreme are set to bring another new champion to OGA Dota Pit. Look really good from them. Maybe. We don't know yet. There were some hiccups here and there, especially in the early game, but mm -hmm. covered very nicely in the mid game and played pretty flawlessly from there on out. Yeah, e home again. Yeah. They look. Ah. You know, it's not the e home that we know from the season. They are sort of getting back into shape again. But you can see as soon as one thing goes wrong for them, they have a really hard time picking back up the pieces. Right. Yeah, they, it, yeah. it seems like they really struggle to fight back and, and bounce back from a rough start, like you said. Like. When the drought died, bought back, died again right away. Like, that looked a little bit like tilt, you know? Like, he literally just ran straight in onto a Death Prophet with, like, Exorcism running, gets blinked on by the Rave King, gets, like, two tapped. It just didn't look very focused. Right. You know? Like, no sense of urgency, really. Yeah, not, not really any urgency at all. And, when you when you end up getting killed twice like that off the buyback for somebody like Shiro when you need to be moving up in terms of getting those items and getting that gold and securing your team a later part in this game, like that just kills your momentum or any chance at getting any more. And it kills the game for you, I think. It, it did feel like tilt because they called GG not soon after. So it, it was certainly a, a, a very quick down point for Ehome in that game. Extreme 